Hi, I'm Claire and welcome to my YouTube channel. For the last couple of years, I've been traveling around Ireland doing all of the cool things there is to do in my series, The Irish Bucket List. If you have a bucket list of things to do in Ireland, make some of them indoors. But this time, I want to find Ireland's most unique accommodation offerings. This is Era b and b Today we are in Castle Bar. Uh, we just had lunch in a place called Cup of Joe's. It was a lovely little cafe that had Irish. So now we're going to head out to where Mayo Glamping is and it's, I want to say Chancery, but I feel like that's wrong. Night one we're going to be staying in a Hobbit hut, Naden Spidjoga, Leprechaun hut, whatever you want to call it. They have a wood-fired pizza oven that you're allowed to use. So we're going to go to Super Value now, get some pizzas in Castle Bar. We're also going to get some beer because it's a BYOB policy. They don't sell alcohol on the premises, but you're allowed to bring your own. Um, and yeah, then we're going to head over. I'm really looking forward to seeing what it's like. We're here in Mayo Glamping around 15 minutes away from Castlebar and I have to say like this is class I'm very very impressed tonight we're in a hobbit hut and tomorrow night we're trying the fairy hut we also put our name down for the hot tub later oh wow look at that good it is good it's kind of cool to be in a hot tub while it rains on you yeah that's a really interesting feeling So regards the exploration of the venue, I'm loving all the little details. Like the train carriage is Harry Potter themed and it has platform nine and three quarters. It's a real original train carriage. Then there's the Game of Thrones themed toilet. And again, details in there are amazing. We put our food in the fridge and later on we're going to try use the wood fired oven to make pizza. You don't need to be prince charming to me. So today is our second day at Mayo Glamping. Tonight we're staying in a fairy hut. Now this is also the honeymoon hut which I've seen on some of the hand-drawn maps around. The details in here are unreal. We have our own sink, which is like really ornate, really, really pretty. That's actually really handy because we can brush our teeth using that instead of walking to the bathrooms. Even the lights have all these like really nice details. The light up on the roof has flowers in it. Really, really, really gorgeous hut now. Now I knew this fairy hut was going to be really, really cool because I saw some of the pictures of it online. But what I didn't realise is that this is actually the honeymoon suite of the area. It says it on the hand-drawn map, it actually says honeymoon suite on some of them. Instead of fairy hut. So look at us in the honeymoon suite. The fridge is so handy, we could actually bring our cans into the room. <laughs> also Alex is like, I actually want to socialise with Eva Claire. Well, from a distance, etc. Oh my god, that's gorgeous. Look at that. Okay, so no key. Oh, but it's open. Oh, wow. Very excited now to get back to the campsite, see our new digs. Maybe have a nap. Oh, no naps. I'm so tired. Now we're I doing, surfed now so it's hard. Day. Oh. So good game of cards, nice straight away. For activities today, we drove over to Westport to get food. And then we drove to a beach that I've forgotten the name of. We're off. It's a lovely grand mild day, so I think I want to force myself to do a bit of surfing. I'm loving how hands off this is. Yesterday we arrived and the key was already in the door. We said to go into the hut. And now it's morning leave and we just left the key in the hut. Um, and we're coming back again tonight for a stay in a fairy hut. We're waiting to let the other cars go. OTV Sports Radio. All on the app, by the way. If you don't have it, get it. Search. I went surfing once my whole life when I was in school. And it was this beach. 
and I got trained. In 200 meters, changed. your destination will be in on the green right. Metal freaking changing thing, and my wetsuit was all soggy and gross from other people breathing. That's mad that I've ended up finding the exact same beach that you did your first. What, what a random beach to come to! This is the middle of nowhere. Okay, I'm gonna go rent a surfboard. See you later, Alex. Okay, bye. Putting this wetsuit on like a work here. I think I was too optimistic when I bought it originally. Oh, tell you the pandemic hasn't helped. <laughs> right, Alex. You're in charge of getting some footage of me from the car. There's Claire standing up. Isn't that great? It's a totally different philosophy. He said, and falling down. I had a great time surfing. I really, really enjoyed it. Alex had a great time sitting in the car listening to Off the Ball podcast. She's freezing. I'm freezing. This is what's going to happen when she gets back to the car. I'm freezing, Alex. Alex, do you want to put up the drone, get some footage of me? Seriously? Can you not do it? You know, Alex, why are you sitting in the car just filming me? Oh, I'd say the wind hitting her now is just vicious. Why would you do this shit to yourself? Honestly. Surfing's for California, not for Ireland. It's absolutely lovely. It's so nice. The sun is beating down. It's so strong. I've had some stuff. You watched tonight, I've had some serious wipeouts. Did you see the long ones when they came all the way in on standing up? Yep. Okay, I want to get two more of them before I finish up. Will you come down to the beach and take some footage? Oh, it's please? freezing. It's not that cold. You're in a wetsuit. <laughs> it's fucking freezing. Can you please close the door? Can it's I too, have some cream? It's so, yeah, it's in the back. Now close the door. What it's so, so cold. Be more specific. Close the door and then I'll tell you. What <laughs> You probably won't see me up here because of the wind, but whoever invented wetsuits is a fucking legend. Like I wasn't cold at all. I'm not at the stage where I can fly the drone to catch me doing stuff like surfing. Like, I don't know how Casey Neistat does it. And Alex can't fly the drone. So I did try to get out and fly the drone after I'd finished surfing and just get some like general beach shots. But it was way too windy. I don't think the little DJI spark is able <laughs> for the winds in the wild west of Ireland, to be honest. Does that look like it's too windy for it? I'd say so. I'd say it's gonna yeah. be. I'd say it's gonna be hard to land it. I'm not gonna risk it. Uh, breaking it. Too windy. She's too windy in the wild Atlantic way. That was absolutely brilliant. I always forget how much I love surfing. That was the best session I've ever had. Now, I stood up for ages. The guy I rented the surfboards from on the way out, he was even like, that one wave you got in front of us was perfect. I was like, I know! The best one I've ever gotten. Again, like I, every time I surf, I'm like, I need to surf more. I love it so much. And possibly we now won't do it again for another six months, but sure, listen, sure, look. We also hopped in the hot tub again. This time we did it in the daytime to see the difference. Okay, so my togs are clean, but they are so cold. I'm just gonna give them a quick warm up. And yeah, I've had an absolutely brilliant two nights here. Have you enjoyed it, Alex? That sums up rating. The rate was 100 euros a night for both huts, they're the same. And then there's a 17 euro charge on Airbnb. None of this was gifted. I booked it on Airbnb, paid for it. It's all my own opinion. Another great thing about this glamping site is that it has Wi Fi and electricity, so you don't feel like you can't charge anything or like you're off the grid. And we were watching Shit's Creek last night on Netflix because we decided to just have an early night. And they do have a cinema here, which I found out today. So if we wanted, we could go and Chromecast Shit's Creek in the cinema. But yeah, I think we're going to snuggle up, have an early night and watch more Shit's Creek. Good morning. It's the last day. Oh, I don't want to go. <laughs> last night we tried to light the fire to cook marshmallows. We did manage to get the fire going. They managed to put it out. A lot of smoke though, so all our clothes smell like fire in the morning. Okay, I'll let the fire for you. Will you make the tea? <laughs> Hello, Alex. Hello, there. <sighs> Time to go. And we're off. That was good, wasn't it, Alex? 